last episode, we had a really good preseason, winning two matches and drawing one. And then we also had a really good start to the season, winning four matches out of four games, which is why we're currently sitting first place on the La Liga table. I mean, it's all because of goal difference because we scored a shit ton of goals in those matches. But the first match of this episode is going to be against Real Sociedad. And then after that, we have our first Champions League match as well as our first Madrid derby in this series. Also in the last episode, I realized that the bench was the sharpness of the bed was really low so i'm going to have to like change that to performance focus and then i'll apply it to all the subs and reserves so that their sharpness can be okay so that when they come to the match or in case there's a like a cup match that i want to that i want to like start majority of the reserves or bench players then they'll be good to go here we are in the real side of the match but before we go into anything we have to check their Tactical vision, very standard. And for this match, I definitely want to do a training drill just so I can give my players some sort of boost in the match. So I'm going for the through the time through lobs. And let's hope that this all right. I failed I failed that one right off the bat. Failed it badly, but this one definitely not. That was a good shot from Bellingham there. Alright, so we're at the last drill right now and we haven't scored. Okay, so we were so close, really to an A, so that is, that's good. Kamalvega is still injured, which is sad. So I'm going to be replacing him with Ardagula in this match. And I think um, that's pretty much all the changes I want to make. Oh, apart from Modric and Cruz, yeah. I'm going to be playing the highlights in this match, so let's see how we do. Attention is palpable, and you can understand why. Two high-level sides about to face each other, and it's anyone's guess how this is going to end up. Alright, so they're actually a pretty top side, so let's just hope that we can actually do what we need to and make sure we, we make the most of all the all the um, attacks that we have, starting with this. Yeah, we did not make the most of that, so that's not good, but we have a counter-attack here, and Vinicius looks like he's he could probably make this. Alright. That is, that is just crazy. That is just crazy. And I do not like the fact that we didn't score that. That was, that was the best chance. Vinicius did really well to get past those defenders. And the game was screwed me over there. I don't even know why he didn't shoot. Because like, I shot immediately after I, I got past the players. Alright, let's see what can happen here. Take it wide. Alaba, what you got? And what well, it was blocked. Alright, so solo run for Vinicius. This might be... A good thing or a bad thing depending on how that defender reacts so let's hope he doesn't okay Vinicius is what the hell and they have a penalty kick right after that so I mean I don't even know how he he, he didn't score that but all right that's that's that sucks now we have a real Madrid attack and all I need right now is for Rodrigo to just get back in get back into that offside on side position and score this. Of course, he doesn't freaking score it. Now we have a corner, and we're not looking to be in a really good position in this match. Oh, okay, so Militao has just put us in a really good position. Okay, okay, that's good. That was a really good header. I mean, the keeper came out, which left the post completely exposed, and Militao was not going to miss from there. 69 minutes, and they have an attack. So I want to try our possible best to make sure this. Oh, counter attack. Okay, yeah, um, I have completely wasted that because we could have possibly, we could have probably done something really quick. But I mean, we're still, we still have something here, right? And yeah, I don't even know how we lost the ball there. But they have a corner kick right now and this is probably going to be a draw. Which is sad because I really wanted to keep our win streak going. So unless there is more more chance that we have after this, we're probably not going to be. All right, that was. Yeah, I don't even know what happened. I don't even know why that happened because Modric definitely had that. For some reason, he did it, and that's the end of the match. And well, all right, so it's time for the Champions League. It's our very first Champions League match for Real Madrid, and it's against Union Berlin from Germany. We're supposed to prove to be the superior side, and the best way to do that is probably to play the match. But I'm not going to play because I have a lot more, a lot of important matches after this one. But I'm still going to play the majority of the first team. I'm going to bring in Dato Fernandez for this match. 
was bringing Carvajal, uh, Brahim. I feel like I want to. You know, I feel like I want to start Jose Luis and I want to start Kepa in this match. Let's just change Carvajal with Arda Villa. Uh, let's sim the match and let's hope that we get the win. We don't. We draw the match. Bellingham gets a goal and Valverde gets the other goal. And Carvajal has also gotten injured yet again. I didn't even notice that in the in the simulation. And he's out for three months. Another player. But he's not a first team player, which makes this better for me. I'm going to bring Aragula here. I'm going to leave Kamavinga here. So I'm just going to be bringing Vasquez from the from the bench anytime I want to play a match. Or rather from the reserves anytime I want to play a match. Or maybe Garcia or someone. Whoever I want to be in that match. He's just going to replace Kamavinga when I, I want to start the match. So that's annoying draw with real society that can actually cost us the first place because Sevilla has now gone ahead of us even though they have only oh, lost the match so we definitely have to win this one to get back up there the tactical vision is kick and rush they are comfortable using a low block depending on normal position they often bypass midfield playing long balls forward okay so that's what they do and that's actually a bad match for us because we actually play a, a high line but let's go to the press conference real quick. I'm sure Carvajal would have been part of the party for today in the game. It must be a blow to Lucy. What would you do? Blah, blah, blah. All right. So we'll deal with the situation. We'll have to adapt. We've got an excellent squad. Um, really, I actually do not need Carvajal. I mean, he's an important player in the team here. Obviously, every player is important. But I have Militao playing that right back position, and I'm completely good with that. I have Vasquez. So I'm, not, I'm really not going to miss him per se. To be honest, because he's not really giving me anything special as regards to other players or that in in comparison, in comparison, in comparison with other players. So I mean, I have, we've got an excellent score. That's the best answer to give. It's a blow that Carvalho in three means he'll be missing, but I've got an excellent score here. We've got plenty of cover. Exactly. Last five games of the future for your boys. You must be very pleased with the way things are going at the moment. Are you confident the team will keep running? Rolling today. Well, we are still on the internet. I come to tell us about that. I was so down with the fact that we didn't win that match. We were not really down for single. I just really wanted to like, keep the win streak. We also have an undefeated streak, and this is actually a chance for Alessio Madrid to like, stop that. And we have every chance to not let that happen because I feel like we are the better team slightly, so we just have to prove that. I am ready for the game. Well, I'm playing the highlights for this. I'm not playing the full match because I have the budget. You no, know I want to play. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to play so much. I was actually part of playing the highlights, but because I need, I don't need the playable highlights to pump me up in this match, in this game. So I'm going to play so much, and I was ready for the game. We'll play the game of the vision. Um, we're in excellent shape. Yeah, we are. It's just a cover that we in with the previous match, but we're in good shape. So if you guys actually have any questions, just put them down in the comment section. And the next thing I will be answering them during Gracias the press conference. Because whatever I'm doing, so you know, definitely put down in the comments. All right, so really, I don't understand why you are so low on health. Shouldn't be, really shouldn't be this bad. But even that show as well, okay? This is not good. So I mean, I'm obviously going to have to start that show. I'm going to bring you... Um, Vasquez and Garcia. Um, okay, so Militao can actually. Okay, so yeah, this is the best thing to do. I don't even know why I didn't think of that. But this is the best thing to do. Militao goes to play on the, in the right center back position. And then Modric. I actually want to give this guy a chance, Brahim. So he's going to start the match. And also, Dallas is also a player that I would want to play at Arnagula as well. Yeah, he's on the bench, but it's not going to start the match. And Ceballos is going to be coming for Modric. And yeah, I think I'm good at this. Yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Drop down in the comment section what you think, what questions you want to ask, and I'll answer them in the press conference in the next episode. Too. I'll see you guys in the match. All right, so we are the ones like, you know, we are in their own stadium, so this is going to be a tougher match than usual. Now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. That was really a good chance of Griezmann. Yeah, we have a really good chance for a free game. And I'm not really going to take these. Well, okay, it's actually too far. So I'm just going to go for whoever can actually head this. It would be, be smart to go far post. Well, I don't, I don't know. That is too far. Oh, he wasn't able... What? I actually wanted to like, play it back, but I don't know what he did there. All right, good from Vinicius, and are we releasing Rodrigo here? Vinicius, 
I don't know why the hell that happened. I don't know why he didn't give it to Vinicius. Because I actually directed it towards Vinicius. And we have to be really careful here. Because I mean, these guys have a really, really difficult attack. And well, we should be, I mean, we should be able to stop it. But we need extra, extra caution to do that. Good from Alaba. You see, I don't even know how the hell stuff like that happens, to be honest. Alright, so they have a really good chance here, and I'm supposed to not let this happen. And now they can save for control. Oh my god, they are actually pressing us right now. They are being the better team. And let's just hope that we can actually turn this thing around. Alright, so they have a corner, and we have a chance for a counter attack here. So hopefully it actually works out. Oh my god. Okay, let's hope this works. And uh, there's too much, too much for Vinicius. Alright, that's, that's sad. I probably should have, like, taken it all the way. Like, I didn't even notice this keeper was going to come up, but... Alright, that was still a very good header from Bellingham. Alright, so that was going out. I don't know why the keeper still decided that he needed to save that. But, I mean, this is the last play of the game. So, if they score, that's going to be bad. So, we need to make sure they do not score here. So that's good. He's probably going to blow it before the... Yeah. Yeah. And so it so was going before anything really will happen. The last first half, they have the been the better side, obviously. I don't know what the hell I used to do. I don't know what the hell I am doing in the first, in the first place. But I know we need to sit up in the, in the second half and make sure we actually can get our players forward and get him winning this match. Alright, second half starts. And well, let's see what we can do. Okay, that is somewhat good. Bellingham. Oh, that is crazy. I was not expecting, I was not expecting that to go in, but it did, it did, and we needed a player that was going to step up for our, for our team, and Bellingham is what I did that, so hopefully this actually opens the floodgates for us, and we can have like, another goal to like, seal this win. Alright, so they're looking really dangerous right now, and oh my god, we just scored a fucking goal, we just scored, and well, I don't even know what to say. I honestly don't even know what to say because that is just shit. Alright, good save from whoever is saving. Okay, oh god, I just needed him to get what to go through there. I don't know why it was so weak. The pass wasn't supposed to be that weak, to be honest. Alright, so let's try and build from this throwing. Just take it all the way wide to Vasquez. To Valverde, back to Chouameni, back to Valverde, to Rodrigo, to Bellingham, and let's go wide to Vinicius. And I'm trying to find a good, a good position. All right, so they're actually really dangerous on the crosses, but let's hope that we can figure out a way to stop them this time around. And we do, but it's just not good enough. It's just not good enough. Please, please, please. Alright, so counter attack. Bellingham. Can you get this to Vinny? Ah, it's too late already. Come on, why are the passes so bad? Oh my god, this is not looking good. It's not, oh my god, this guy just saved our asses just now. Ceballos, can you get this to Vinny? Vinny, can you get this to Rodrigo? Not looking like you can. But. Anybody, oh, come on. The passes are so bad. The passes are so bad in the game. Like, why are you playing directly to the player? Like, play outside of where the player is. I actually honestly hope that we were going to win that match, but apparently we couldn't. And well, we are now, we're still to our fifth for some reason. We haven't played the seventh match. But if we win it, we're probably going to join. Barcelona in first position. But the game is going to be against Las Palmas, so this should be a relatively easy one. So I'm starting Tony Cruz over um, Traveni this match, and Arnagula is going over Modric. Then Fernandez is going to be playing for Alaba here, and that's pretty much all I want to do. So let's see if we can get the win. Hopefully we do. We're at home against Las Palmas, so this should be a relatively easy win. 4 1. Bellingham gets a brace, Rodrigo scores, and Alaba scores as well. Next up, we're up against Hirona. A 3-0 win for us, Rodrigo, and Valverde gets a brace in this match. And next up is the match against Napoli. We're going to be playing the full match for this. 
and what we are second which means that if we win the match we probably are going to remain second if Mino Berlin win their own match as well or if we win by a really good margin but we're actually going to be away from group this is going to be a tougher match to play and let's look at their pre-match reports they are a counter-attacking side also not a really good match for our um, high line the team is actually low on energy i don't know why but i'm going to be starting vasquez in this match obviously i mean it's always going to oh my god this guy is also low on stamina jesus christ okay so this is the best i can do Kamavinga, i mean we are actually short on players to play this match because modric has a red card what how are these things happening happening without me even knowing. So Aragula will probably come in later on. So yeah, this is going to be a tough one, so I have to bring my A game into this match and let's hope that we can actually come out with the win. Alright, so we're starting and let's hope that we can actually get something good here. And well, let's just make sure our passes are good, make sure everything we do in this match is proper and we should be able to come out with the win. Oh, Bellingham to Rodrigo. This is probably going to be a goal. And yeah, it's the first goal of the game. And Rodrigo has got it. Rodrigo is really the one that scores the most in this team, to be honest. And I mean, apart from the simulations, he's, I think he's the highest scorer. Because I think Bellingham is going to be the highest scorer. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure though. But yeah, that was a really good goal. Bellingham did a really good. Bellingham, good job from Bellingham to actually get the interception there. Really bad mistake from the Napoli defense, and we have capitalized on that. All right, so what do we have here? Good pass. Who can this get to? Nobody. I mean, I actually wanted to go down to Valverde, but I don't know. The game just has a mind of its own sometimes, to be honest. And now they have no way, no way. I'm letting that happen. Good from the guys. Get this to Cruz. And let's see if we can unleash Vinicius or Rodrigo. No! Oh my god. That was a stupid mistake from us. And yeah. So basically, it's a, it's a match of stupid mistakes and all that. And Osime was never going to miss from that. Never going to miss. Never ever going to miss. That was just that was the dog pass that I made there. Alright, switch to play. And Rodrigo to Vinicius. Please score it. Thank you. Alright, so right back at them right back at them we have scored yet again 2-1 and it's actually a really good goal really good play from the team bellingham rodrigo and vinicius yet again that was a really good goal man. really good finish from vinicius no way the keeper was going to get that ever all right so I'm, okay that's a red card for Simeon. all right that's great that is great thank you I mean, he's the, he's, the, he's the main threat from this team, and he has just taken himself out, basically. And I absolutely love that. That was a very dumbass slide, and I just heard that. Okay, so they actually don't make any, sort of any changes or anything, which I am completely good with. Let's switch to play here. Give it to Chris, to Vinicius, to Bellingham, who should have a good chance of goal here. The keeper does save it. And what was a good chance? All right, what do we have here? I'm going to give it to Vinicius. And why does that? Why does he always stop running though? I'm not even going to chase with Vinicius because I need his his speed for when he's actually attacking and all that. Let's just stop this with Rudiger. And oh my God! Yeah, they're all dead. Yeah, it's certainly been an open game. Okay, Bellingham. Can you get this? Ah, oh, that's so close. That's so close. That was really good from Vinicius, but Alaba is basically dying already. I, I could have sworn that I removed him. I don't know why the hell he's back in the team. I don't know what mistake I made, but that's that's just sad because that's probably one of the reasons why our defense is not performing as well as it should. All right, so it's half time, and I need to get some of these players out of this fucking pitch to be honest because they are dying out here I put Vasquez and um, yeah that's that's what I'm going to do right now and I'm going to leave the, the midfield and the strikers for now I need I need to make sure that we can actually keep this lead so before I bring in any of the lower players I need to make sure we can keep the lead alright so it's a free kick for them and uh, this might just be a very good chance for Vinicius to make some kind of run. Uh, no. 
yeah, on this developer that was popular. Or I assume we kind of play this two ways. We kind of try to hold the ball while we look for a way to score here. Or we could be dumb. I mean, it doesn't give them the win. Well, we have a chance here, and yeah, that was, that was good. So all I have to do right now is defend like my life within the pen on it. Okay, so I am going to have to slide here if possible. Anything tactical, because we should win this match. Alright, so that's good. We won it. Really good start from last year there. And this match was really tough, because the majority of players that I needed to win this match were all no one's coming up. And well, I didn't have to make any other subs after this club at half time, because I needed to make sure we actually go over the line with this match. And we did. So it's actually a really good thing. We just have to play well. And we're good off this course. They're more good. They're more good off this course. We're playing well this match. Alright, so I actually don't know why Alaba is actually really low on whatever he's low on, on energy. I actually don't really know why, because he's also on energy focus. So I'm, I'm going to give him all our energy. So does Modric. Cruz as well. Go to put him on all our energy. I really don't care about their shoppers anymore. I just need them to be able to be fit for the match. Next up, we have Osasuna. I'm expecting a really good win in this match, so I really need them to not screw me over. So Vasquez, obviously, and Militao. That's what I did in the last match. I don't know why it ended up as Alaba still there. That was really bad, but. I think Chris is going to start. Uh, Chris is actually in there. So I'm going to leave Chuaveng there. Yeah, he's actually suffering to be honest. So, Jose Lu, I'm going to start him in place of Vinicius. Vinicius needs to rest, man. And then Arda Gula, he's going to come in for Modric. And I think we are good here. And it's a win for us. We just barely make it. Alaba and Chuaveng score. I swear to God, I took Alaba out and put him in the freaking reserve. So, why the hell is he? scoring in the top minutes. I'm not complaining though because that goal actually still helped us to win the match and we are back to first. Barcelona is on our tails right now. We are on top because of goal difference as we always have. And then after that Sevilla match, number one wrong, is the match against Barcelona. So this is going to be really tough. But the good thing is that we have a lot of time before the Sevilla match. So all of our players should be should be good. Jose Luis appearances, Kepa appearances. All right, so they actually haven't appeared a lot. So I know that, I know that, and I keep on forgetting to put Kepa in those matches where I simulate because I want to actually put him in majority of those. They have a staggered tactical vision, which means they are the best of both worlds. They are, I mean, so I mean, we have to be really careful in this match. As for the team, I want Cruz to start. Let's actually give Jose like a little bit of playing time, and then Kepa as well will start the match. And I think I am good. Uh, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. It's Sevilla. They take on Real Madrid and it's coming up next on EA TV. So this Sevilla match is not going to be an easy one. Um, they have they have a lot of good players here. They have El Nasiri, they have Sergio Ramos who is a... Oh, he's not in the team. I'm not sure he's in the team. I can't see him. So, well, he's not starting the match. So that's actually a good thing for us. Okay. And he actually got ahead of that. But the keeper was able to get a glove on that. And well, that's pretty much what might have saved their asses right there. Alright, so that was a good attack from them. But Kepa was able to, to prove why we need him in this team. So... Let's... Oh my god, that that was easy. And Kepa, what a, what a save from Kepa. That did not just happen. That did not just freaking happen. I freaking slid and bro just stood back up and kept playing. Alright, so we have a chance for something here. If Vinicius doesn't fuck this up, which he will never. They don't body well. <laughs> oh, that was that was a good goal. Good goal. Good interception from a uh, good what they call it. Good tackle from the towel. And then I mean he's what has started that whole thing. Give it to Rosalie who gave it to Vinicius and Vinicius was not going to be from there. Alright, so Chris to Vinicius to Mendy. And well, I have no idea what to do now. Let's give it back to Chris. Let's see. Rosalie. He didn't even try to do anything there. And that is good for Bellingham. That is actually really good for him. To get round the defender or to get past the defender, that was good. 
I mean, actually did the celebration he does in real life. That's that's nice. That was a really good, really good chance. Really good goal about that. Good chance. Yeah, personally, I don't know why they only didn't like try to get it at the beginning there, but letting him, they were able to like do one minute to be done. And that's two 0 Exactly what we need to start this match. So all we have to do right now is just try like focus on defending this lead because I don't really need to score one million goals against um. Sevilla because they can't just like decide to switch up for us and become really really good like prime Barcelona at some point. So, yep, I was just saying that and they have made a shot on goal. So I need to focus on defense and possession. Because if we have possession, they can't score us. Right? Can we have to defend like our lives better on the ID? So it's half time. Same by the bell. To be honest, they weren't able to score there because like, I had them on lock. They kept on going back out. We've been the better team in the second half and let's just hope that we can actually um, multiply the lead. Even though I'm actually focusing on possession and defense, I want to be able to multiply this lead to make sure that we are safer than usual. All right, so I don't know what the hell that foul was and why that was able to be foul. Well, I hope that's a red card. I think it's a red card here. Yeah, I just accidentally skipped it like immediately because I didn't think it was that bad of the foul but yeah it's a red card they got a red card okay so that's good Rosalu I have no idea what you're always doing but I think I'm offside oh it's not oh it's not all right that's good that is good it's not offside I actually thought it was offside but apparently it's not it was just barely offside and that was a good finish from Vinicius Good work from the town there. Really good work from you. But now, um, Rodrigo is going to be coming onto the match as well as Tony Cruz, as well as Modric for Chouameni. And let's. Okay, why did he even try? Okay. Okay. I think this should be a goal for Rodrigo. Though. Yeah, definitely. All right, so he just came on and he scored his first attack, his first couple touches, and he's, he's got a goal already. So that's 4 0 if I'm wrong. Yeah, that's for real. I, I mean, Sevilla is looking like they aren't well, going to be able to do anything against us in this match. All right, so I'm basically making all these substitutions because the next match we're playing is against Barcelona, if I'm not wrong. I hope I'm not wrong, though. But, well, I mean, it's not looking like Sevilla can actually come back here because, like, a 4 0 goal difference, a 4 goal difference, so then possibly not going to be coming back anytime soon. And. Hopefully, I haven't jinxed myself and beat them. Have a chance on goal. Let's just block all his passing options. Good. Not good. All right, Kepa. That was straight at him. Why didn't he just? Okay, I mean, he did. He did really well. Let me go try and act as if he could have possibly done any better there. So it was out. Counter attack chance. Vinicius, can you do this though? Seems like you can. Seems like you can go around all of them. And. Yeah, that's a hat trick for him. Really good goal for Vinicius there. And, well, that's it. I mean, it's a, it's a really good run. I mean, once he got past that defender, I just had a feeling like it was going to be a goal. 5 0. And Sevilla is just helpless here. Alright, so I'm going to be bringing off Vinicius and bringing on Ardagula. And Bellingham is going to be playing on that top. Where Vinicius is playing on our level and was playing the senior position. So well that's pretty much the end of this match. I don't think I don't think anything will happen. I mean if, even if we lose the clean sheet, we're still getting all three points, but I'm I'm still I still want to work for the clean sheet. So let's hope that we can actually do that. Substitution time it is here. Okay. Kepa, good oh, one. Good one. I don't know how well, the hell they do that. They just that sudden burst of pace. I don't understand how that works. But it's a good it's a good stop from, from Kepa to to keep his clean sheet in this match. Well let's see what we can do here. I mean I want, I still want Bellingham to score. And I don't think it's looking like that would be possible anymore. So that's the end of the match. And we have done really well. Yes, another 5 0 win. The last episode ended with a 5 0 win. And it was Rodrigo that got the hat trick. This time, another 5 0 win. And finish shot is the one that got the hat trick. The game is still bugged. I don't know why he's holding air, but whatever. All right, 5 0 win against Sevilla is definitely keeping us up there on the table. We have increased our goal difference yet again. And I just want to check this real quick the goals in the team. So Rodrigo has 9, 
Bellingham has seven, Vinicius has six, Valverde has three, and Alaba has two. So I don't think I actually expect anything different. Everything is really good the way it is. I mean, normally Vinicius should get more games than Rodrigo. I don't even know because I don't watch Real Madrid matches in real life. But still, though, I like what I'm seeing here. Yeah, anyway, we actually have the match against Braga before the match against Barcelona. But we're going to be ending the episode here. So if you guys have enjoyed the video so far, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. My voice is gone. Sorry about that. But uh, yeah, put down in the comment section which player you actually want me to bring to the team. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.